In this video, I'm going to try new electric file from Amazon by Bell. We will do unpacking, try product removal, dry manicure, and meanwhile, I will give myself a new set. Coming up. Hey guys, I'm Anastasia, and this time I decided to film myself a little bit because most of the time you just see my hands. So we have one box to unpack. Let's get to it. Bell home. Make bell at home. This is what the box says. Let's open it up and wow, it looks like a case for your computer. Like seriously, if I would see someone outside walking with this kind of case, I will definitely assume, you know, there's something up there like a computer. All right, and this is the drill itself, and we have a handpiece, and the color, it's like chrome and ombre, and we have everything here, so let's take a closer look. Drill itself comes with a holder already, which you can put on your belt, then we have a handpiece, which is chrome as well, plastic holder for the handpiece, we also have a cord, additional sand bands, and then there is a kit of drill bits. We have diamond one, we have a brush, we have even ceramic one. Let's take it off and finally try it. Last time you guys asked me to show you the actual sounds of the drill so you can see the noise for yourself. So here we go. This is the sound of Bell electric file. I have to say that it is pretty quiet, even on top speed. I mean, it is definitely not noisy at all. And I will also keep the sound when I will be doing removal and dry manicure so you can hear it. So let's take off my nails. This nail got into some accident. My friend asked me to walk the dog and then she pulled the leash when she saw another dog and well, it happened. So one of my nails is actually lifting, but all the rest of them are fine. So I'm clipping the free edge off with a tip cutter and I'm going to file off the rest of the nails. These are poly gel nails. I had them for way too long. I believe it's been six weeks or maybe even more than that. So I decided to try this ceramic bit and I'm keeping the sound and I'm going to file it off. The speed I'm using is currently 25,000 rotations per minute. Honestly, ceramic bead, especially this kind, is definitely not my favorite one to do poly gel removal. I'm also not using any dust collector, so you can see that it is pretty dusty. But we are going to remove this nail with this bead, and then I'm going to switch to another carbide bead, so we can try it with this electric file. Time of battery life is 8 to 10 hours, and you only need 2 hours of charging time. But when you will be charging it for the first time, it is better to do the full charge of 10 hours. Another great thing that I read about this electric file is that they give you a full one year part and labor warranty with your electric file purchase. And this is kind of cool because you do not need to worry if something breaks. This ceramic bead definitely going to work for gel polish, for gel overlay, for hard gel maybe, and for soft gel, but for long poly gel extensions, it is definitely better to use something different, something stronger, such as green abrasive, or I'm going to use a carbide one for the next nail. This nail is clean now and let's proceed to the next one. I will try a carbide bit 
with blue abrasive mark. It's pretty easy to change the bits. You just turn it to one side until it clicks and then you change it, install another bit and then you turn it back. So with this bit it definitely works so much better just because it's more suitable for this kind of product and you can probably see that there's less dust as well. And this is my nail that suffered from this accident with a dog. By the way, I'm a total cat person. I don't really know how to uh, walk the dog, especially if it's a big one, and it was a big one. But she was behaving very well right until she saw another dog and she just pulled the leash so hard that honestly, I was afraid that my nail was about to fall off, but it didn't happen, you know, it just lifted a little bit. So now we need to file it all around to make sure we get rid of lifting. Meanwhile, I am truly impressed with such a low noise of this electric nail file. This is definitely one of the less noisy portable e-files I've ever tried. The motor is brushless, which means it's all electronic and this is one of the reasons why it's not as noisy and also it doesn't vibrate at all, which means you can work for hours and do not feel tired. It is time to say goodbye lifting, do not worry, it's not really painful anymore. I mean, it was painful when this pulling the leash happened, uh, but it was about three days ago, so I intentionally wait for a couple days until it's not hurting as much, so now I can safely take it off. I'm filing the nails short as I'm going to do a new extensions and then I'm going to file them from the top. Since this nail is already lifted at all these white parts that you can see, these are technically the layers of the natural nail plate that were um, teared off. And since this nail is already thin, it doesn't really make sense to keep it like that. So I carefully, without any pressure, file them off from the top. Just make sure you are not going to overfile it even more. Then I gently push back the cuticles using orange wood stick. Let's try Bell e-file doing dry manicure because this is one of the things we are going to do a lot. I'm using a flame bit, this is diamond bit, the speed is 16,000 rotations per minute and I have to say it works pretty smooth and comfortable. So this e-file is definitely one of those that I can recommend for you guys whether you do your own nails or you're working with the clients. When doing dry manicure, also known as Russian manicure, I always clean one side first on 10 nails. Well, this time it's going to be just five because I'm doing only one hand. Because when I'm doing my own nails, you know, it's always one hand at a time. I mean, doing two hands at a time, that's just definitely too much. And once I'm done with one side, I switch to reverse mode and do the opposite side. With Bell e-file, by the way, you do not need to stop the motor to switch to the opposite rotation. You just click reverse, it will stop the spinning for you and switch to the 
opposite direction, which now is a reverse mode. You can also use this diamond bead to clean the sidewalls. Then I changed the beat to the diamond sphere beat as I'm going to use this one to trim the aponychium and the cuticles because I decided to go all the way with electric file manicure this time and the prep and dry manicure is done. My nails look so clean now and it is time for new extensions. I decided to use hard gel this time so I fit the form, apply dehydrator, let dry apply non-acid primer and a thin coat of the base coat and cure it in LED. I had long nails for quite a while and also as they were growing they were just longer and longer so this time I'm feeling to do something slightly shorter. Well, it's definitely not going to be like super short, I mean what's the point of extensions then? So I decided to go with medium length and I'm using a nude natural tone. This one is by Russian brand Cosmoprofi and we're doing my favorite almond shape. I always start by doing the free edge. Basically, I'm building the tip. Make sure that the length and the shape is the one that you prefer and that you cover all the sidewalls of the natural nail. Then I cure it for about 20 seconds and then the next layer will be the sculpting layer. First I apply the gel on entire surface and without curing I'm going to take more gel and use the printing technique to apply it. Printing means it works like a printer, you know, when it's printing something. It's going from one side to the other but do not go too close to the skin because when you're working with a gel like this, which is medium thin consistency, it may simply flood the sidewalls and we definitely do not want that. And if you notice that it is already flooding something, then you may simply turn the hand around and let the gravity help you. So the product will concentrate in the middle. That's exactly where we need it to be. Free skewer for 10 seconds and then you can pinch the nails if you wish. You can also use this plastic clips and cure for the remaining 40 seconds. Take the form off and looks like we're almost done. After curing the nails, I'm going to take off the sticky layer. I'm using alcohol and regular lint-free wipes. I will do the shaping with 180 grit file and I'm going to file and shape the nails mostly the sidewalls and the free edge just to be sure they're all straight and consistent. And as for the surface, I think I'm going to need only a soft buffer such as 180 or 220 grit. And I'm done. And if you're wondering, Anastasia, come on, you're not just doing a nude nails, you're definitely going to do some kind of nail art. Of course I will. So make sure to subscribe so you will not miss it. As for Bell Electric File, I'm definitely happy with the quality and results. I will leave the link to this electric file down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.